Now I'm not going to beat around the bush here. I absolutely love the GoPro and its ability to take time-lapse videos. When I bought this thing, I didn't even know if I'd use its time-lapse mode. But I can tell you after a year, I use it almost every day. GoPro's ability to make time-lapse movies is one of my favorite features. I've captured some of the most amazing video. Some of this stuff I've never seen before. Believe me, I'm no expert at shooting time-lapse video. But with all the extra features that come with the GoPro, it was easy to figure out. Once I got down the basics of how time-lapse photography works with the GoPro, I started to shoot all kinds of stuff using time-lapse. I'd get us driving in the car. I time-lapse my wife and I sleeping, just to prove to her that she's the one that's kicking all night long. I even time-lapse my cat, because I have no idea what he does with his day. I absolutely love this GoPro for its time-lapse feature, but there's one thing I could never figure out. Night Lapse Photo Mode. I checked out all the other how to shoot a time-lapse nighttime videos here on YouTube, but I didn't own any of the other expensive software needed to produce these nighttime videos. I was using the free program GoPro Quick. Now here's what would happen. After I uploaded all of the photos from my camera onto my computer, I would see the time-lapse video that I shot the night before. If I clicked on it, nothing happened. I just couldn't figure out why these videos wouldn't start. In fact, I shot a ton of these nighttime time-lapse videos and then just deleted them because I thought they were corrupt. Now if you're going through the same thing, well I have the fix. Right click on the picture and click show in finder. Now if you go back a few folders, you'll see there's a second file made for the next day. In that folder, you'll find the second half of your nighttime time lapse folder. See that photo ending in 4585? This picture was taken one second after midnight. Now if you click back to the previous day, you'll find the beginning of your time lapse. Here's the picture that was taken right before midnight. Now, here's the fix. Go back into the next day's file, highlight all of the photos in that file, you can use select all, now carry all of those photos back to the original file and drop them there. I try to make these videos so you can quickly and easily get the information you need and can move on with your day. If you find that any of the information in this video is wrong or needs to be updated, please leave a comment down below. If you appreciated this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribing to this channel would always be helpful. Thank you. Now, when you go back into your GoPro Quick program, it'll play flawlessly. Ever since discovering this flaw in the software that GoPro has put up, I have made some of the most amazing nighttime time-lapse videos out there. In my next video, I'm going to go over the different modes that your GoPro has to shoot different types of videos with the nighttime time-lapse feature. I think one of the most amazing videos you can capture is a distant thunderstorm coming your way. I'll leave you with a few examples that I've shot over the past month. Thank you for watching.